A robot looks at you. It smiles. And for a second, your brain forgets it isn't alive. You've felt this before, maybe talking to an AI, reading a reply that sounds human. That moment, when a machine feels almost real, is the true frontier of robotics. We don't fear humanoid robots because they look like us. We fear them because they behave like us without being us. Humanoid robots are not built to understand humans. They are built to be understood by humans. Their gestures are simplified. Their expressions are exaggerated. Their movements are slowed down. Not because it helps them think, but because it helps us feel comfortable. Long before robots learn to understand us, we are already learning how to read meaning into them. If the first challenge was copying the human body, the real challenge begins when we try to copy the human mind. Do humanoid robots have conscience? A humanoid robot does not have one AI mind. It has multiple AIs layered together, each doing a different job. Perception AI, conversation, emotion simulation, safety slash ethics layer. Robots can fake emotions. However, robots do not understand irony or sarcasm the way humans do. Its smiles aren't felt, they're executed. An algorithm choosing a face, not a heart choosing a reaction. None of this is feeling, it's execution. Inside a humanoid, it's all just a pipeline, a cascade of algorithms moving a single thing forward. That's why the real revolution isn't what robots can do now, but how fast their weaknesses are disappearing. The real question isn't when machines will feel, it's when we'll stop noticing that they don't. One of the biggest risks in robotics, especially in humanoid robots built to interact closely with humans, is misalignment. They do not rebel, but they can miscalculate. They can misread. It can be as simple as a circuit reading the world the wrong way. And that's why modern humanoids are buried under safety systems. Speed limiters, force caps, tactile sensors, kill switches, emergency stop gestures, supervision, just to keep us safe. Yet no system is perfect. So how close are we really to advanced robotics? Close enough to imagine them, far enough that we still fear their flaws. The future of robots won't be decided by what they can do. It will be decided by what we accept from them.